Yes, Davido and Osha were saying in the studio actually cooking up something. I think uh, a lot is actually going on right now. Davido want to like you know get Osha involved in his career. I, I think um Osha does um uh, people are really saying that uh, Osha does not have that clout or uh, like before, and then uh, Davido should like you know minimize uh, relationship with Osha. But it's not all about that. It's about getting the best from somebody. Before I proceed with all of this, I want to take out this time to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sharing my videos across social media platforms. Wizkid recently dropped his album, and you congratulated him publicly online. What made you decide to do that? Yes, people have been making rumors that uh, Davido and Choma are still back together and all those kind of things. But why is it that Davido does not want to make a kind of uh, legal commitment with Choma? That is the question people are really raising. But uh, somehow, I kind of understand that Davido has started living polygamy, polygamous uh, you know, life because... Getting married to Choma Miss Pike uh, Sophia and Miss Pike the other lady, and that is why Davido decided to say, "Okay, you guys are welcome. I will take care of you equally, and I will provide for you guys and all those things." And they are enjoying it like this. And recently, uh, Davido snapped a picture uh, of a handbag in his uh, rose dress, and people were like making uh, stories out of that because they were quick to go to Choma's page and see that Choma has the same handbag. Let me tell you uh, what the speculation is all about, the balance story. You have to understand that as at that time the picture came out, Davido was already in US. And uh, people really need to understand the story. And then um, that picture came out on social media and people said, man, Davido and all those kind of things. Don't be surprised the picture was shared by Davido. It was not there when the picture was taken because most of the time Davido is not around. This, his baby mamas, they borrow his cars to attend occasions and the rest. And that is what I'm suspecting in the story and the case of Choma at a point like this. And in other um, kind of uh, story, people are really saying that, man, Upon the love that Davido showed Choma and all these kind of things, at the end of the day, he never uh, got married to Choma. But you need to understand that Davido is trying to be diplomatic because getting married to Choma, a lot of uh, other baby mamas will blackmail you with uh, your baby. And that is what Davido is trying to uh, kind of avoid. We remember the story of uh, Sophia Momodu, Imade, and all those things, and how Davido called out, called out, um, you know, Daily Momodu because of the whole thing. I think. Uh, uh, he's been diplomatic around that and Davido loves Choma so well but the big story is that getting married to Choma will especially provoke um, you know Sophia Momodu and may he use uh, Imari to always blackmail Davido at uh, that and that is what he's trying to uh, kind of uh, avoid and recently Davido was seen in UK with uh, his fourth baby <laughs> uh, from uh, Larissa London. And uh, people really appreciated the video and said, man, why were you denying it in the first place? I think uh, you have to let everything settle before you can come out with the big truth. That is something I believe about that. Uh, that is the story for the video right now. Oh, I don't like you that they regard this with you, FC. Um, yes, now because they do the one bad and they lose for the price sometimes. Guys, another big news is that uh, people are really trying to cook up some stories against Bonaboy. Yes, I saw on social media uh, the picture of Bonaboy's uh, mom and uh, late Anikula Pokoti, that is Fela, actually Fela rocking some uh, kind of things on her. And uh, I kind of understand because uh, Bronner Boy's, um, you know, grandfather was uh, Fela's uh, manager at that time. And that is the story a lot of people need to actually understand and uh, make a big issues out of it. Um, before uh, we like, you know, share the interesting story uh, with you guys is that uh, understand that there's what they call professionalism and all those kind of things. That is something people are not really telling themselves at a point like this professionalism is yes you know Bonaboy's mom was a dancer to fella 
And then you don't expect like, you know, that is a kind of stagecraft. That is something I believe because if not, Bronner Boy's mom would have been Fela's girlfriend at the end of the day or Fela's uh, concubine. But making a story out of that just to spike Bronner Boy, I think is uncalled for. It's uncalled for. The family uh, uh, of Bonner Boy, they've been in business for a very long time in the entertainment business and it's working out uh, for them right now. And uh, when you look at uh, Bonner Boy, you will understand that, yes, to an extent, Bonner Boy has achieved a lot in the music industry. Uh, this is as a result of the craft he learned from his uh, family at a point like this. That is something you need to understand about uh, the story so far. And uh, stop making some uh, you know, unnecessary stories around Bonner Boy. That is something I want to share with you guys on this. Guys, before I jump off, because uh, I have to go to work right now, I will come back with some other interesting stories. Before I jump up, I want to take out this time to really appreciate you guys for taking out time, watching my videos, sharing my videos across social media platforms. I love you guys. Keep supporting through SD.